for Nathan Renfro in Maryland with Tavon Austin back deep at his own 23-yard line. Nearly blocked, just getting it off is Renfro. Austin with some room to run. Trying to turn the corner, gets a block. Tavon Austin surveying the field, and he will go out of bounds at the 22. the middle, complete to Tavon Austin, who breaks the tackle down the side, and the race is on! Touchdown, Austin! <laughs> 44-yard touchdown pass to Tavon Austin, and that drive did not take very long. You can see Geno Smith coming down there, and Congratulating him, but this is why he likes playmakers that can get the ball and make plays and score touchdowns. This is because of straight, flat speed that he was able to get around the corner and get in the end zone. Tyler Becker on for the extra point. It is 14-0 West Virginia after Tavon Austin's third touchdown catch of the year. Geno Smith now has 10 touchdown passes. That drive... 78 yards, 31 seconds. Told you, didn't take very long. It's 14 nothing, West Virginia. Tavon Austin out of Maryland scores a touchdown against the Maryland Terps. Look at his numbers this year. This it's guy is so dangerous. <laughs> Third and four. Smith. Able to connect once again. Finding Tavon Austin for the first down. A 17-yard completion. And that was a pretty throw. It was. But you play zone defense to try to give your guys an advantage because you don't feel that your man coverage match up against their receivers. But Geno Smith did a great job of finding the hole in the zone. Tavon Austin and converting that third down play. Geno Big Smith. Play. In his second year in this offense for Dana Holgerson and Shannon Dawson. Back to throw here to Tavon Austin in the slot on this third down. Smith throws it to Austin, just like Mr. Crouch said. And guess what? He's got another first down, a 12-yard completion. Do you play football or something? When you talk about Tavon Austin's athletic ability, that poses a bad threat for whoever's covering him because he can make a guy move, make a guy miss. Make him think he's going one way and run the route the other way. 38-yard line. Good height on this kick. Austin takes it at the 39, cuts it back near side. Dancing around, flags come flying. Austin turns the corner, unable to stay in bounds. A 44-yard punt, a 13-yard return, but let out. Nick Hindler comes in on second and 13. Smith over the middle. The pass is caught by a diving Tavon Austin for the first down. 16-yard completion. What a catch there by Austin. It was a great catch, but a little confusion in the defensive secondary. You look at Geno Smith just putting that ball right out in front for Tavon Austin to make it. A spectacular diving catch. On Austin in the game for the first time today. Smith taking a shot to the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown, Tavon Austin. Twenty-four yard touchdown pass to Austin. And something had to go wrong there because he was wide open. You know, those corners are trying to maybe give Geno Smith a few different looks, but you can see on the outside, right here, the cornerback, he's kind of acting like he's going to come and then gets outside, back into coverage. But whoops, Tavon Austin wide open in the end zone. You have to know where Tavon Austin is on the defensive side of the ball. That way, you can get some help for your free safety. And that, and that opportunity right there, no help. Tavon Austin with his second touchdown catch of the game. He's got four now on the year. I'm not sure if he'll have an easier touchdown catch this entire year. I want to be. And in case you're wondering, the rain has stopped here as we start the third quarter. Braddock kicking off. 
and taking it by the goal line is Austin. And Austin gets tripped up around the 20 yard line. Not Good high punt, deep punt drives Austin back to the 20. Austin dancing around. He's still on his feet. Austin gets the sideline with some room. And now he goes out of bounds at the 38 yard line. Save on Austin. I don't know if I've seen a player in a long time kind of wait and observe and change direction and fool people as much as he does. Well, he's so fast, he's so smart, and you can tell that he knows that he's fast and he has speed, so he can let those blocks develop with patience. Pass to Tavon Austin. That's complete. Up to the 44-yard line. And a pickup of three, Alex Twine on the tackle. Third and two, they're bringing pressure. Geno Smith has some time. Smith, the pass, and it is caught by Tavon Austin with Dexter McDougal all over him again. Take a look at Geno Smith. Rarely you see a ball thrown behind the receiver, but Austin does a great job of adjusting and catching that ball in his arm. Quickly, they get it out again to Austin. And Austin gets tripped up by Jeremiah Johnson. Smith, again with time, completes the pass once again to Tavon Austin. Austin now has 10 catches on the day. Dexter McDougal trips him up. His fifth tackle. Well, you can see he knows where he wants to field in Quinton, Spain, the left tackle. But how about the day that Tavon Austin is having? Last week, Stedman Bailey set the West Virginia record with 13 catches against James Madison. Austin's got 11 in this one. Yeah, he's in the slot right here. Pass. Once again, it's Tavon Austin. And a flag is thrown. Pressure coming. Step over the middle. Austin make it three in the game. Thirty-four yard touchdown pass to Tavon Austin on third and fifteen. How about his day? Geno 11 Smith. catches, 174, three yep. touchdowns. And Tavon Austin, they really understand where one another, where they're going to be in a certain place. That was just a seam route. And he hit him in stride. He took one play off, said, Coach, one play, that's all I need. I get back in, all he does is catch touchdowns. 31 to 14, West Virginia leading Maryland here in the fourth quarter. Out, you're looking back there in your own territory. Tavon Austin with the carry. He goes down. The flag comes flying in. You may want to sign up that official because that was a cannon.